What's going on everyone? Got a quick one for you today. I've gotten a lot of people asking, hey, you do so much iPad Pro content, why don't you make a video on how you actually use the thing, you know? What kind of apps do you use on a daily basis in order to get your work done? Like I said, I do YouTube videos, but I'm also a student and I'm also doing a ton of different stuff on the iPad, producing music at any given time. So what features and what optimizations do I use? So we're gonna get into that. I'm gonna run you through my entire uh, layout and what I use all of this stuff for. So before we get started, if that sounds like a good time, this may be one of a series of videos I do on how exactly I use my iPad iPad Pro. So if that sounds good, hit the subscribe button, click the bell so you don't miss. And let's just dive right into it here. As you can see, at first glance, my iPad Pro does not look like what you would typically expect with just these apps up here on the home screen in grid form. That's typically not what I go to the home screen for. I go here for quick information at a glance, information that I access all the time. So we're going to run down each part of my home screen and then get to the dock. So starting off with the Apple TV app, I have it nice and big. For my other channel, we Sibs. I cover movies and TV shows, so I'm always running through different shows, checking them out, seeing if I should cover them. And so just being able to see what I've recently checked out or what I may still be interested in at first glance is a big part of my day. Um, right to the right of that, we have the calendar app where I can not only see the day, which is important, of course, uh, but I can see per hour what I have scheduled. And of course, once again, I've removed any personal events there. I can also see my tomorrow glance uh, and an hour breakdown of that. And that's going to vary the information that you can see based on the size of the widget you make. So a nice medium size calendar widget I find uh, works best for me. And then down in the second row here, we have some medium sized type of slider apps starting with notes. Man, I know there are better apps than notes. I know there's Cola Note and Good Notes and Notion, uh, but the app that I keep going back to is the basic Apple Notes app and it just keeps getting better with time and it's so well integrated. You can now make locked notes. Um, you can uh, put your passwords in here. You can put photos in here. I do a lot of different stuff in the Notes app and you can't beat the integration with just being able to swipe up from the bottom right of your iPad and add a quick note into Notes. Um, so I find that it does everything I need a Notes app to do, but obviously there are more serious hardcore Notes users and I would recommend apps like Cola Note, um, and stuff like that for that. Uh, here, self-explanatory, I've got the weather app and this is where I can just take a look at my day as far as the weather goes and see if I need to move a shoot somewhere um, or if it's gonna be rained out or just, you know, you can plan your schedule based on the weather just right there at a quick glance. Here, uh, this is also related to WeSibs. If any new trailers drop in the morning during the day, uh, this keeps me updated with that and I can see if there are any that I wanna cover for the channel. Uh, you can see clearly as the as of the recording of this video, the Buzz Lightyear trailer is out. And uh, I didn't cover that one, but this keeps me up to date and it's a great tool to have. Um, here I've got just a basic analog clock and this is more for aesthetics. Obviously we have a nice digital clock at the top left hand of the iPad at all times, uh, but I find this is a nice touch uh, and it keeps me up to date obviously on the time. Now that's just the basics of the iPad Pro home screen and we're gonna get to the power that is here in the dock. This is what makes the iPad so amazing for me when it comes to multitasking. Uh, I usually only have one iPad home page right here. You can see there's a second dot, which means there is a place to swipe, but I've just removed any personal apps or things like that over to the second screen. And typically um, those widgets or apps would be here in the dock or um, up on the screen. Uh, as I've explained. So now moving on to the dock, this is some incredible stuff. So as you can see, just like with an iPhone, you've got your apps lined up here. Uh, you can put a ton of apps, but where the real power comes is in folders. So you can add multiple apps to a folder and then you can put that entire folder right there in the dock. And this allows me to access any of these apps at any given time from any app. That's where the power really is. Um, and you may think this isn't important, but when you're using powerful video editors like LumaFusion, uh, when I'm rendering out a video and I need to make a thumbnail or I need to do something else, if you close out this app, it will stop the render. And so sometimes I've been stuck and been like, oh no, I can't uh, access this or that app that I need to access and pull up either in split screen or um, in a flyover card. And I'm just stuck waiting until the render ends. Uh, but with the dock here, I can take out any app that I want and I can quickly just pop it on over over the screen or in split screen or whatever um, I need at the time. Now, even with all of my most used apps here in the dock, sometimes you need an app that is not here. Um, 
So what do you do then? Well, I actually have the app drawer folder right here in the dock as well and this gives me access to every single application on the ipad and this is such a powerful tool because even if i need some obscure random app that i never typically use but i just need right now i can pull it up without having the app that i'm in close or quit or stop the render and there are a lot of beefy programs now for the ipad pro that need all that ram now of course with the M1 iPad Pro, it now has up to 16 gigs of RAM, and it surely should be able to keep a editing software running in the background with about 8 gigs of RAM, still be able to use four apps to uh, do other things and keep, you know, two on hold for whatever other system tasks it needs. Um, and while those optimizations I'm sure will be coming, we don't need them because with the app drawer in the dock, we can access all that from any app that we have running. So guys, this is a quick look at my home screen and what I use it for and what I need at first glance at any given time. Widgets are a great addition to iPad OS. Um, we have widgets in iOS as well, but they really come to life on the iPad Pro's 12.9 inch uh, HDR screen and they just serve really great function. Uh, some of these apps even you can scroll between different apps very easily uh, and that allows multiple apps to be in the widget without cluttering up or crowding up your home screen. So I find it super useful. It's super efficient for me. I can really fly through my tasks, fly around whatever I need done at any given time. And like I said, have access to every single app I'm running, even while running powerful apps in the foreground. So uh, that's a look at my home screen. Hopefully that was helpful. Let me know if there are any apps that you use on the regular that I didn't mention here. It's great to have a community where we can just uh, talk about the best ways to use this incredibly powerful tool that is the m1 ipad pro so let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below if you want more videos like this hit the like button subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss as we cover your favorite techosophy i'm chris grant jr it's the granny geek show